Okay, hi, and I'd like to welcome you to uh, Songwriting for the Disabled 101 or Songwriting for the Musically Clueless 101 or just Songwriting for those who have no musical ability 101. I'm Sean Shears. I'm obviously in a wheelchair um, and have cerebral palsy and arthritis and well, I write songs and people often ask me, well, how do you do that? Um, so, like I've shown you in the previous clips, um, found apps to become more useful as my conditions evolve, got a little bit worse, or oh, my energy levels have um, had to uh, take it a little bit more easier. So, I don't know my cat there, sparkle. But basically, the first part of this whole lesson is uh, simply getting your idea down, getting it out there, like we said earlier, just reiterating that point with you. Okay, so at the point where we've selected our chords, and we've come up with some lyrics, and you know you want those chords to sound, um, I could, I'm just loading up the ukulele app here, now you could get an app like, you could go into GarageBand, use their guitar app, perfectly good app to use, in fact it's got presets with timings on, so you only have to really press the chord down once, you don't even have to press the strum button. A uh, simple songwriter guitarist is another good one that allows you to create your own strumming patterns and stuff. A bit more complex, but something like this is just easy to get those of you like myself who don't have a huge, you know, who are learning as they go sort of thing and just want to kind of get down to it really quickly. Um, this gives you an example of just sort of how to get a rough idea down um, on your own terms. So you pick your chords, you've, you've written some lyrics, and you find yourself with the structure of a song, or as far as you can go with that idea at that particular moment. So I wanted to write something on the ukulele because I've been invited to a uke jam. So I wanted to write something that sounded like a hymn um, for some reason. I don't know why. I wanted to challenge myself. So uh, I, I came up with this song. I've never sung before um, and played before until earlier today. And uh, yeah, we used the speaker and it was too loud for the uke, you know, the uke sound. Um, but I'm just going to show you a touch. I just wanted this uke because look. change chord progress. So I've seen that, so yeah, literally, I mean, I might pause and stop, but that's because I'm trying to remember lyrics for the first time, um, and also I'm trying to play live for the first time, but to be honest with you, it doesn't matter, I'm just showing you how I get an idea out there, obviously, normally I would edit this part, so it looks really awesome and really cool, but especially if I had just a sound bit, or a sound board, or something like that, just Later on down the line, I would just edit it so it looks perfect, or you know, like in voice notes or something, delete the song or something, which is always really good. But now I'm doing this live and raw for you, um, just so you can see that you know, sort of part of being able to do something, it's not just showing that you can do it, it's imparting the knowledge that you can sharing it, and it's imparting the knowledge that you have with it as well. So, okay, it's in the great song world. I don't even know what it's called yet. Um, so, I'm just going to check Aliens will set up the way it is. So, okay, Aliens will save and give you on the way that's called. So, this is the song that I've written. Um, <coughs> I don't know what it's going to be called, um, but you will, the next time you hear this, you'll probably hear a live version, uh, sorry, a, a more rounded version of this with production on and everything else, and you probably won't recognize it but that's the joy of, of writing and creating any any form of art so let's not get into the philosophical discussion is <coughs> here's the song as it is at the moment <coughs> hope it's not too bad for you just because they didn't see idolize doesn't mean to say when a positive Influence in my life, and you said you wanted to build a legacy. 
could take more than that. You gave blood to those who could not see, see, oh, what a person. Beautiful memory of your life. Oh, what a person. Living my life is your legacy. Is your legacy. Exchange our friendships. Sometimes we're in the same town, sometimes we go down different roads. You'd carry on imparting knowledge to those you, could, you couldn't see. I just thank the Lord that you had time to spend with me. Living our rights is your legacy, is your legacy. So like I said, it's not the greatest song on earth, but some of the simplest songs on earth have the most greatest structure. These are only three chords. It's about the idea and the, the uh, emotion that they have within them. That's obviously going to take some work. Obviously, I hit the string there, and if I'd have kept my finger down on any of these plectrums, that's the sound I would have got. Um, so I hope I did well enough for you there. Um, the main thing I want you to take away from what you've just seen, though, is that that, that was very raw, that was very, very uh, simplistic, rudimentary, crude, whatever you want to call it. But at the end of the day, it's an idea that I can take to a producer, it's an idea that I can take to a band, it's an idea that, that I can float around at jam nights. And it's just something that I think, you know, the, the Chord Explorer and something like the UCAT or Band in a Box is really good at. It's not just giving you things like samples and stuff like that, but actually if you can come up with little chord structures or know what key you're working in, things like that, you can go up to a guitarist and go, right mate, that's the key of C minor, seventh, that's key C minor. Uh, key chords are this, 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 and this. Four, four, timing, something simple like that. Boom, you've got a song, you're away, bish, bash, bosh. So for those of you who've got more severe disabilities, there are other apps out there. Like I say, Band in a Box is a great guitar app, and that runs with strings as well. You know, you just press the button, and it just simply will just do you know, different timings for you. Uh, like I said, Simple Songwriter Guitarist, that's another good app. Uh, and I've been finding songs that I had wrote 10, 12 years ago that I'm now beginning to work on now because I didn't know what the chords were then. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't know, you know, a lot of stuff that I'm learning. But that's one thing about, you know, getting older and staying committed. And with these new apps, I don't think there's anything um, anyone can't achieve. Where there is a will, there's a way, and um, yeah, I'd like to hear your, some of your results too. So if you could email me on YouTube or send me links on YouTube, that's all cool. My albums are actually out there to buy, and I have got music videos on my YouTube channel and interviews and stuff like that. So you can check out my charity work. Some of my songs actually sound like they're finished. And uh, but next time in our next session, I'm going to take you past the demo stage and into the stage of using more than one app to create something and what it actually ends up or finishes as. So that's going to be quite cool. And then we're going to look at working with samples later on and, you know, maybe exploring different instruments for those with disabilities. I, I don't know. We'll see how we go. Let's hope that this one gets us all off to a flying start. So, uh... I'm going to press the M button now, okay? Thanks for your time.